Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today we are looking at the six-week update of me using the Cerioxal Stemioxidine 5% plus Resveratrol Denser Hair Serum. So six weeks ago, I started this journey on trying to make several areas of my hair a bit thicker. Um, I had the hair there, but it was quite downy, and there's some spaces in my hairline which I want to go through, and some areas which I want to talk through today with you. Okay, so I have used the Denser Hair Serum by L'Oreal Professional uh, before and had some fantastic results with it. That was back in 2015, and very often, each year since then, I have, every now and again throughout the year, just used this Denser Serum just because I really do feel it brings so much more of a positive effect it adds the sort of the nourishment and it kind of revitalizes those areas and it actually does make the areas where I'm a little bit concerned with at times a little bit thicker, fuller and helps hair to come through. And I'm going to hopefully show that to you in the clip today. So six weeks, of course, isn't a huge amount of time for hair areas. When we say hair loss, so areas of hair which are causing us concern or perhaps the density is changing. Now, the hero product inside this denser uh, hair serum is, of course, stemioxidine. So I'm just going to, I know I went over my first clip, but I just want to, whoever hasn't watched my, my first clip, I just want to re kind of refresh where the element of stemioxidine comes in for this denser hair serum to make your hair thicker and to help in those places where possibly thinning hair is starting or you're in the process of or your hair is sort of getting thinner. So the stemioxidine is the product which is really getting in that core area to try and sort of transform those areas to make thicker hair and push the hair coming through through the growth cycle. So we're just going to have a quick look. Now I'm, I'm going to refer to my written notes here because I want to get this absolutely correct for you. So if we just re, we, if we refresh on the hair cycle, so the first stage is the growth stage. So anagen. So that's our stage where the hair is growing. So then we've got the next stage. So we've got the resting stage, which is the telogen. Forgive me if my pronunciation isn't absolutely spot on with all of this. Okay. And then you've got the next stage, which is the regression stage, which is the catagen. And then you've got the next stage, which is the shedding, which is the exogen stage. Now, it isn't detailed, but there is a fifth part to the hair cycle, which is called kenogen. Now, kenogen is that window from when the hair falls away from the scalp to then when the hair starts growing again. So what stemioxidine does in that window is make that time between when the hair sheds from the scalp to when it starts growing again, stemioxidine tries to shorten that stage and it starts to try to mimic what's happening on the scalp and pushes that hair through much more quicker. So if you imagine what stemioxidine is trying to do, if you imagine, so the scalp you've got under a telescope, you've got a microscope rather, you've got five hairs. So for example, through natural process, three of those hairs fall away. So in that little area, you've only got two hairs growing. So naturally, Actually, if you've got finer hair or a bit more sparser hair, or you have got that pattern loss or, or hair loss, or through one reason or another that hair is, is getting thinner, and you've got two hairs left there from that five, what the stemioxidine does from the denser hair solution is it tries to push those three hairs through much more quicker than as opposed to without the stemioxidine. You may even then lose perhaps another hair, and in that tiny area, you've only got the one rather than the five, what should be healthy there and growing. So semioxidine, I hope that makes sense, semioxidine really forces that process between that window from when the hair leaves the scalp when it starts growing again. It shortens that right down and it pushes the hair through much more quicker. So then what would happen is you'd be left with thicker, you'd be able to grow healthier, longer hair. So theoretically what you're doing is you're enhancing the health of the scalp in those areas, those troubled areas, and you're really starting to get your hair much more fuller and thicker. That's theoretically how it should work. Now if we look at the bottle, so this is my second bottle in, in six weeks, okay? And I'll just show you how far down I am now. So as you can see, I'm about here. So just coming up to about halfway. Now you may think, where do I use? Where do I use my serum? So here, what I actually, where I use mine, I'm just going to get a little bit closer. So just forgive me. We've got an update. There we go. <laughs> Had to start now, with, didn't I? So the areas where I use my serum is in my temple areas. Okay. This area here. Okay. 
this area. I'll just bend my head a little bit, you can see this area here and this temple here. And behind here, not my crown, but just in a bit, I use it in here as well. So there's a reason why I've used a gel like product in my hair today, because of course it makes the hair less dense. This isn't me trying to tell you about how thick and how amazing I can get my hair. I can, and if you want to have a look at that, please have a look on my channel. This clip is all about trying to tell you the benefits of what I have found so far and what I actually get to experience when I use this denser hair serum by L'Oreal Professional uh, Stemioxidine. So when I use this, this is where I find the difference. So my hairline here, as you can see, with the gel, it's helping me show you how sort of thinner the area is. So my hairline here, what I have noticed in six weeks, this is not where I turn around and tell you there's a dramatic, huge change, because there isn't. Is there change? Yes, there is. The areas I notice the change is here, here, and here in the temples. So if I sort of put my hand here and up to the camera, as you can see, this area is actually starting to get thicker to the point where actually these little tiny fine downy hairs are actually now long enough and strong enough to incorporate into the style. So when I've used the comb, it actually goes back. So if you can see from here, that hair is actually being taken back into the style. Now that's not hairs which have grown in the six weeks. What that is, is that is hairs which are already there, which have been able to be stronger and therefore they have grown. Have a look in your hairline. Very often, because that's the most troubled areas for men in the temples here, the hair doesn't really seem to grow. You get real short little downy hairs. They don't necessarily seem to grow, but then when the cycle's over, they fall out of the scalp. Here, I find in six weeks, what this is enabled to do is, bear in mind, this isn't a hair this long in six weeks at all. This is just that it's grown and it's thickened up and it's actually strong hairs, which have now been able to be incorporated into my style here. What I notice as well, and all morning I've been trying to get pictures to be able to capture the small hairs, which is starting to grow. But unfortunately, even on the camera, I can't get them to show on here to show you on my channel. And for that, I apologize because I appreciate when you're talking about something like this, you need that hard evidence to be able to believe it. But I promise you, cross my heart, this stuff works when given the time and the perseverance. I use mine and I, I come away from the bottle directions because I use mine in the morning, then at night. So I shampoo and condition my hair in the morning and then I use this serum throughout my hairline. I take a couple of minutes to massage it in my hair and then wherever else I'm putting it on my scalp. And then in the evening, very often if I've got hair product in, I have to wash that out again. Okay, then I use conditioner. Sometimes if it's a style which I haven't got loads of spray or anything in, I will just rinse my hair through a conditioner and then I use this serum again. Now, a lot of people will tell me that that's absolutely ludicrous. You're going to dry your hair out. Hair is different for everybody. What works for me might not work for somebody else, but I kid you not, you will see results with this serum. I would hope everybody would, but it would be wrong for me to set that expectation that every single person would see the same results. But I do wholeheartedly believe that if you have the determination the perseverance with this and keep going with it, you will see results. So this area here, for some reason, I've always had a little bit of an opening here. Um, and it, every now and again, it seems to open up. So then I will either take a hair growth supplement such as Viviscal, but I have a hair, um, I have a hair, I have an operation coming up very soon. So it's my sixth week today, which is the 23rd. My operation is actually on the 25th. So after I get out of hospital and everything like this, I will be going on to still continue using this. And when I come back to my channel, because I will be having a break, I will then be reporting my experience on how far we've got with the serioxyl astamoxidine solution. Um, and I will be giving you an update on the benefits as well. But for the six week mark, these hairs, which were really tiny, thin and downy, which I couldn't incorporate into my style, I now can. And I've got real, real tiny prickly hairs in here, which is growing through. And I only wish I could show you on the screen, but unfortunately I haven't got a sort of strong enough camera or anything like that, which is picking them up only ever so slightly. And to be honest with you, it's just not enough for me to be able to show you. But the areas here as well, as you can see, 
the air, the hairs are thickening up for me to be able to incorporate in my style. But amongst here, I've got really short, tiny, downy hairs. And when I go like that in my hairline, it feels like a little bit of a cactus type feeling because I can feel short, little, tiny, spiky hairs coming through. In this area here, this area has concerned me a little bit where Behind here, it seems to sort of just be emptying out a little bit, and it seems to be getting thinner. But I don't know if you can kind of see that, probably not, but here, I'm getting short, spiky hairs come through. Uh, hopefully you can see just above my finger there, there's like kind of like two dark black dots. That's where small little thicker hair is starting to come through. And I didn't have that. This was up a little bit. So I didn't have that. And you can see I've got a little small amount of hair here, which I'm just trying to be a bit careful because I don't want it to fall out, is growing back through. So as you can see, it is working in here. If I open this up, that looks so much more tighter and thicker as opposed to what it did before the six weeks. And you know what? It works. It works. As you can see, my hairline here, you can see, hopefully you can just see the small, the reflection of like the dots coming in this area here, or it does work. So you can see even hair from here is being able to be incorporated back. That's for using this serum. So my only suggestion would be just have patience. If you don't see any results in six weeks, but you see tiny little hairs here, what could well be happening is that the hair what's already there is getting thicker and stronger and taking advantage of the stomioxidine in the resveratrol, which is actually there working. The resveratrol is, I believe, an antioxidant which is added to the stomioxidine, which helps against oxidative stress, which is causing a negative effect in the hair cells. So that thinning process, that resveratrol is trying to support the stomioxidine and actually helping the, the product work quicker, faster, and helping you gain thicker, fuller hair. It works for me, and I absolutely love this product. If I ever have any issues with my hair, I come straight to this product. If it's a supplement, I come to Viviscal for Men, which is brilliant. This here, the only, the only sort of setback with this is the cost. So in recent years, this has gone up. I used to pay 20, 22 pounds for this. Now you can pay 33, 35 pounds at that high end sort of premium store. I try and shop around and I can usually buy it for around about 27, 28 pounds, but it works. It really does work. And just don't go crazy on the amount because this doesn't necessarily work. It doesn't work any better if you use tons of it. If you use tons of it in one go, it doesn't work any better. Use small amounts and then just tap it into your hair. So I've got a product. I've got a product in here, but what you, I've got product in my hair, so I'm not going to add it in here, but hopefully you can kind of see there is a line on the pipette. So that gives you a guide of how much to use. I don't use that much in my hair. Each time when I use it with my hair, I use about this much. So I use about that much and that's enough for my hairline. That's enough for my hairline. And occasionally, if I want to, I may go in and just use the same amount again for the back of my head or sort of around my scalp in different areas. Because I just find that this stuff, it really, it, it, it's, it's frustrating how long it takes. But when you think of how long the process is for hair to start thinning and hair to start falling and to become finer, that's over months and months and months, if not years. So the effect of trying to repair that process and gain thicker, fuller hair is gonna take just as long. It is painfully slow, I will be completely honest, but it does, work and in six weeks I have absolutely noticed a difference. My hair feels thicker, fuller. I'm doing some clips today on my channel because I'm coming up towards having an operation now. I'm going to be taking a break from it but this is what I was planning ultimately to do as well to give you my feedback on my six week uh, milestone of using this product. So it will be now, I will probably take a break for around two months and I will come back and I will then give a review at some point then but for now I mean, this morning I was sort of wondering, do I style my hair in a huge sort of pompadour style look? And I thought, no, let's use like a gel type product. Let's really try and open up the hair, make it look as fine as it can in the front so people can actually see the results. And hopefully you can see sort of above my finger here, hopefully you can kind of see that there are 
tiny little hairs coming through. And even just by doing that, you can see those little tiny hairs, they were never actually even strong enough, long enough, or even thick enough to incorporate in my side style, my side swooping style, what I've got going on. Hair just down here. And if you go to the sec, this is hair here. Here. So my hairline is thickening up. It certainly is. Hopefully, that's enough strong enough evidence to say that it does work. Now, there's a lot of people going to be watching this thinking, you've got an awful lot of hair, what on earth are you doing? This is not, absolutely not, me trying to say, I've got fine hair, I want more of it. I do lose hair. I do lose hair. I have lost hair. Prevention is always better than sure. The sooner you start noticing something different in your hair, if you want to hold on to your hair, you need to jump on it quickly. And this is a product which works. End of. In the nicest possible way, for me, I find this works. It is costly. It is expensive. But it does work. OK, so I really, really hope that that is uh, some real positive notions there for you. If you do have any questions or anything, I will try my best to get back to you. I only have about two days now before my operation, so if I do have any questions, I will try my best to get back to you. If not, after my break, I will come back to you after my recovery and everything when I come back onto my channel. So please don't think that I have not listened or I've not read your comment and I'm not coming back because I certainly will. I respond to every single comment which I get on my channel. Okay, so until next time, thank you very much for sharing this with me. I hope you are sort of thinking of trying this. If not, absolutely try it for yourself. It is a really great product and I absolutely love it um, and I really hope and I wish you the best of success with the product as well. Okay, thanks very much indeed for watching and until next time we will see you then. Bye bye now.